Hey guys, it's Ellie again. I have a message for you this morning. It's from Exodus, from when the people of Israel were trying to come out of Egypt. Um, it wasn't easy. Moses had a tough time because Pharaoh, Pharaoh is really, really difficult. But then the Bible lets us understand that God intentionally made Pharaoh that difficult. He made his heart, heart is what the Bible said, so that his glory could be shown. And then through all of that, there were different plagues that came on the people of Egypt then the people of Goshen where the Israelites were the chosen people of God they didn't go through that and then most people are like God will prevent you from uh, what, 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 the, the, the hardships that are going on around you but remember that the people of Israel were like slaves in Egypt they did all the digging and all the building and all the farming and everything and every time Pharaoh refused to let them go he made his soldiers or overseers uh, punish them more so instead of giving them let's say tar and some reeds to build something they took the reeds away and now you have to go and cut your own reeds in town basically they made their lives more difficult now the people of Israel like many of us complained and complained and complained God you really really love me and you're making this person do this to me they somehow forgot that the people of Egypt were going through worse things than them so the people of Egypt had their firstborns died, they, 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 their, their water turned into blood, there were frogs in the land, they, they had boils. You look at that, and then you look at what the people of Egypt, Israel were going through. They were safe. No, nobody died in that place. The only thing that happened was the work that they were doing in the field for the Egyptians was doubled. So now you're going through something, right? You're going through a lot, and you're like, God, where are you? You're going through stuff. You see things happening around you. Instead of you to just believe, just believe in God. We, we as human beings, just because we're human beings, tend to spend more time accusing God of neglecting us. But like I said, I, I, no, like I keep saying to people, did you wake up in the morning? That's one battle down. You didn't die. You woke up. That is one herder gone. So just make it to the end of the day. If you don't believe in the end of the day, just make it to lunch. Make it to lunch. Did you make it to lunch? You didn't eat anything? No problem. You're still alive. You're breathing. Everything is good. Okay, make it to dinner. You, dinner time. You didn't eat anything? Are you sure? Are you sure? Do I have some water? Nothing? Nothing? Okay, well, at least let's make it to tomorrow morning and see what will happen. That's how you live your life, with faith, incrementally. Because having faith for a long time, it's, it's not easy, oh... I don't know how many people can project their faith into the future, but there are people that can do that. People that just wake up in the morning knowing that they're going to be fine till next year. They know that they're going to be good. And then there are some other people that need prodding every second. So if you're one of those people that every second of your life you're wondering, is God really alive? Is God really there? Where is he? I am going through God. Can't you see I'm suffering? Just make it. Make, wake up. Did you wake up? Thank God. You woke up? Let's make it to lunch. You made it to lunch? Thank God, Jesus. You ate something? Hallelujah. You ate? Wow. Make it to dinner. Then at night, look back. You woke up. You made it to lunch. You ate. People don't even have water to drink. You ate. Bless God. Bless God. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day. From Jehovah with love. It's Ellie Cece, y'all. See you later.